Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Need for Speed Underground 2. Alright, let's go pick up some money. <laughs> and a little bit of info as well, I suppose. The usual monotony of it all. But, uh, shouldn't be too bad this time. I think there's only 11 pieces we need to pick up. So and we're all scattered between from here until uh, Jackson Heights. So. Start down at the airport. Here or just down there. But, uh, oh, there it is. It's 100 bucks. Yeah, it's uh, increased a bit from uh, the last time. Right, next up is. Let's just go this way. Next up is near. I think it's like right, in the, right between I think Fort Union is the area and uh, the casinos. The area where we uh, had our uh, underground racing league races last last chapter. Secret races. All right, next up, we want to go down towards the car lot. So let's make our way down there. Uh, yeah, this way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's go left here. This one is okay. Over here. There it is. And of course, while we're doing this, we'll be uh, looking out for, keep an eye out for any uh, shops that we may come across as well. Actually, that's just. Right, I think that's all for the city course. Let's head up to Beacon Hill. Let's see if we can uh, get a run at this tunnel here. Yeah, it's better. Still not perfect, but we managed to keep it above 100. Alright, first one. Let's. Let's. Uh, which way do I want to go? <laughs> uh, we could just actually yeah, let's go this way. Oh. Partially because I want to get used to this route. 
potential racing seek. just going all the way around. Ooh. Wiped out on that one. It's at this uh, carpool, uh, this parking lot up here on the left. it is. Right, next up is... Whoa! <laughs> Alright, uh, next up... I said this is a lighthouse, was it? Oh, uh, no, it's just a monument. It's right there. Alright, next one is near the. I think that's the body shop. Whoa! Pay attention to the work jobs. is Jackson Heights. Let's go over The shops are just to the west there, but We'll take care of those last. So they should unlock some new stuff for us, so we'll take care of it that, at that point. We'll take a look at it. And, uh, as mentioned, if we've got time, we'll uh, see about maybe taking care of that last 0.2 star rating to get us up to two stars. Let's see what that does for us. Alright, here. That's it. Oh, there's the first icon. All right, uh, hidden race information. Pay attention to incoming SMS messages. You will often get information on where races are taking place that do not appear on your map. So yeah, I think I might have hinted or uh, briefly touched on this uh, earlier, in earlier in the, in the in the earlier stages about you know the uh, the random excerpts from other people that you get in your SMS while you're driving. Uh, you know, when they actually say, "Hey, there's a race down here," and all that kind of stuff. And I heard there's a race down here. Yeah, generally that's how you're supposed to find, uh, figure out that there's uh, other races that aren't necessarily marked on the map, so. Alright, um... Uh, which way is quicker? Uh, this one is probably quicker, but... This is probably going to be the more challenging route. But... Actually, the other route's pretty challenging as well. One particular area, but... So used to like almost either going too fast around there or too wide or what. Wasn't too bad. This part, however, can be tricky. So you don't want to spin out. There we go. This one. Yeah, we 
get some plus two this season. <laughs> All right. Gonna be taking a right up here. If it is indeed a right, and not just a good drive through. Yeah, okay. It's a bit both. <laughs> a little from column A, a little from column B. <laughs> All right, and there it is. This is another hundred bucks. And I think there's only two more we gotta pick up. So that's gonna be nice. uh, that, uh, just to the south there where that uh, circuit race is, you can see the bit of a uh, the weaving of the road there. That can be a little tricky to get go through as well. It's really well lit up, but the problem is the lights are just spaced well enough that it can kind of play play with your eyes a bit. Can be hard to see oncoming traffic as well just because of the way that it's laid out kind of thing so we'll definitely be uh, seeing some of that definitely be seeing some of that in the uh, in upcoming upcoming races so if you want to go take a look by all means but, uh, we go on, we go on. i think i just completely passed wow okay So busy flapping my gums that I forgot to actually go to that nice little castle looking place is actually where the next one was. <laughs> no. Trail breaking. One of the more difficult techniques Techniques trail breaking involves waiting until the entry of the turn to apply the brakes and holding them through the apex. Be careful not to throw the car into a drift. <laughs> Unless that is your intent. But, uh, yeah. Another That was a hundred bucks. Oh wait, no, I think that's... I think that was like fifty or something. Give me a tricky turn there if you uh, you don't take it at the, the right angle. Definitely uh, took me some time to get used to. This little uh, bow tie, I guess you could call it here, is usually take it pretty quickly. Keep your eye out for the in fact, they're going around blind corners there. Woo! This one should be right down here. Yeah. There we go. I think that should be it. Let's just double check. Okay, so we got the four down there. We got those three, and then... Got that, that. Yeah, I think that should be it. Okay, organic drift racing. <clears throat> Pardon me. Plan each drift on organic tracks to take into account the direction of traffic. Drifting on the outside lane is risky because of the likelihood of oncoming traffic. Yeah, there's something uh, we haven't come across yet, but organic drifting. It's pretty neat. <laughs> as far as the game goes. But, all right, here we go. We got the body shop. What do we unlock? We unlocked... New front bumpers, rear bumpers, and side skirts. Sweet. And let's go take a look at the graphics shop. Alright, and we unlocked additional paint categories, deco placements, and new vinyls. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> let's see if we can get through this a bit quicker than the last time, shall we? <laughs> Alright, so I think we have officially unlocked the metallic paints. Yes, there we go. So, ooh, that's actually kind of nice. I might want to keep that color in mind. <laughs> eh, that one's a little too dark, but uh, yeah. So yeah, we unlocked the metallics. They, they add the same amount of uh, um, visual rating as... The regular stuff, but it's just looks different. I don't know. It's 
metallic. <laughs> um, and what else was the decals and vinyls? Yeah, okay, so Bottom vinyls. What did we get? So don't play that and slap it on to stand out and be noticed. So yeah, I think we are. Okay, so we got the racing ones. So yeah, just a bunch of flags, that kind of stuff. Uh, I got the tribals. The wild sets. Probably like more like animal esque, I guess maybe. Uh, hoods. Uh, and yeah, not that you can't put them on carbon fiber. Oops. Uh, what else? Aftermarket ones. Yeah, so these are uh, sponsor stuff or uh, manufacturer stuff. Body vinyls. That kind of stuff. And. Ooh, contest. Yeah. Did we get into this already? But uh, oh yeah, I think I mentioned what they were. Like I said, I think maybe like they had a uh, uh, like a contest like before they released the game that people could design their own uh, uh, artwork for the cars, and whoever won the contest would uh, you know get their artwork featured in the game. So yeah, anyways. seems like it makes the most sense to me. I may be wrong, but uh, yes, yeah, so we got that and. Fly the signs of your parts by adding sponsors' decals to your ride. Yeah, I don't think they actually do add any extra spots because I think we've all got it's got the same layouts, but uh, yeah, maybe it's just different decals. I don't know. No, I don't think they ever changed that either. So I guess maybe it's just literally referring to the vinyls. But anyways, so yeah, that's what we unlocked the graphics shop. All right, let's. Uh, we got a few minutes left, so let's go take a look at the body shop and see what we can do to. Get our car up to two stars. Yo, unless you want your ride to look like your mom's, then this is the place for you. <laughs> All your visual upgrades are here. Fender, All right, spoiler, and here we go. Here's the uh, stage two, I guess you could say, of the uh, body or the uh, bumpers and that kind of stuff. That looks kind of nice. Shadow strike. Doesn't look too bad with those headlights. Overdrive, slipstream. That just looks clean. That looks interesting. Pardon me. Hmm. And then you got the the other variants of the rear bumper. And then side skirts, of course. A bit more expensive, but a bit more visual writing as well. And I think that's all we unlock, so. Let's see if we can get the extra point to. Unfortunately, I apologize to anybody who is. This is going to pain, but I will be replacing the headlights and the taillights, so. Say so long for now. I think maybe eventually we'll be able to get the, the, uh, the flip up headlights again. I'm not sure if that applies to the Corolla, though. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. Maybe I dreamt it up or something like that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Alright, so we got Topaz and we got Hyde. Hmm. What do the uh, tail lights look like? Yeah. So each of these give you plus point one, and they're pretty darn it cheap. So yeah. All right. So we got this is the stock ones. Is Sport Glow, Street Ray. Okay. So we got Sport Glow and Street Ray to choose from here, and then the headlights are Topaz and Hyde. Hmm. I may go with the hide. And I may go with the sport glows as well. Hmm, which one am I leaning more towards? I am leaning more towards the sport glows, so there's that. And these ones. Yeah, I'm leaning more towards the hides. There we go, we got a visual rating of 2.00 stars. Oh, hey, from Rachel. Four on the Floor DVD cover. Congratulations, your car has been selected. Appear on the Four on the Floor DVD cover. Head to the star in your minimap to meet the photographer. And where is he? He's all the way down in southeast of the city core. So I guess we'll have to head down there and meet up the, with the photographer next time. This is intro. Actually, no, I think that's probably just... What did she say? There's a camera crew here shooting for the next Four on the Floor sequel. Just make sure you cross the finish line first. You're in for sure. Oh, she's saying he's down there, so yes, we'll head down there and uh, hopefully meet the photographer next time. If you're enjoying the, if you enjoyed the video, and you're enjoying the series, 
be sure to hit that like button uh, subscribe as well if you haven't done so already and remember to hit that bell icon if to be notified for to be notified when I upload a, another uh, the next video and uh, yeah feel free to follow me on uh, or on uh, Twitter uh, to, for any channel updates and all that kind of stuff so in any case this is intrepid 83 signing off thank you so much for watching take care be blessed and have a good one